Hey, good morning. This is going to be a quick one because I am going to get a facial today. Woohoo! You know, I do these, I, I, I give myself, I don't give myself the facials, but I go and I get these facials every two weeks. I've been doing it now for a little over two years. Um, it used to be something that I would just, you know, it would be like maybe I would do for a birthday or, or something special. But you know what? I, I decided that I love them. And as I am aging, I really want to take really good care of my, my skin. And so I, it's very important to me. So I make the time. I make sure I have the money for it. And I treat myself to this every two weeks. And I'm, I'm just wondering if there's anything that you could do that would make you feel really good about yourself. It could be anything. It could be treating yourself to a lunch. It could be um, getting a massage, uh, getting a pedicure, um, I don't know, buying something new to wear. It could just be sitting down, taking that time out to sit down and read a good book. It could be anything that makes you feel really good and adds something to your life. I mean, it's such a small thing. It's an hour out of my life every two weeks and it's so important to me that it doesn't matter even if it doesn't if somebody else could say that is such a stupid thing to do or to spend money on or it doesn't matter here's my baby here's my little boy um and it doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks that means something to me and it has been wonderful and I have seen huge results from it. So, um, so I'm just sitting here this morning. I'm having my first cup of coffee. Mm. Mm, it's just so good. And, you know, I'm just really happy. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be starting my day with this facial. And that always sets me off in a good mood. So if, especially even if you're going through a hard time, it would be a great thing to do to go and do something special for yourself. And then, like I say, it doesn't matter. You know, I love going to like Barnes and Noble and uh, just sitting, sitting there and reading a book or just looking through. I love being in that store. When I go in that store, I love that environment. I just feel good in there. It makes me feel happy. So there are everybody we all have things we all have places that make us feel better and it doesn't have to be the exotic you know I don't have to be on the beach on some island which I mean that would be awesome but you can't do that every day most of us can't so you pick something that you love that you know is very doable and it can be very simple it's it's amazing well what we focus on is where our energy goes. That's, there's that saying, um, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So, you know, go focus on something that makes you happy. You know, why, if you're frustrated over something or if, if certain people make you frustrated, then don't hang with them. Don't, you know, don't go there. <laughs> don't do that thing. If it's your job and you have to, then there's ways you can make that better for yourself. But if it's, you know, just everyday life things that you have control over, then then reboot, you know? It's just, it's, you have to look out for yourself. You, you know, you have to love yourself like you love your children or your animals or your husband or you just have to know that you're as important as anything else in your life that you love. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm getting my facial. I love it. It's so wonderful. And, um, and then, you know, it's super windy out today. I mean, scary windy. And so it, even though it's not that cold out, it feels to me like it's cold because it's so windy. So I experimented today with an oil. It's called vetiver. And um, I've already done it. I'm not going to do it again because it's really strong. But this is vetiver. And it is an, uh, an essential oil that they use for making perfumes because it's very strong. It's very sweet. It has a very uh, strong earthiness to it. 
And it's really not one of my favorites, but it's interesting because when I went to my oil bag today and I picked, I wanted to pick an oil for the day that I don't use that often, I picked up vetiver. And I'm thinking to myself, are you crazy? But I thought, well, we'll see. So I reread about it and vetiver is very soothing and calming. And I thought, well, that's awesome because I, I get unnerved when it's super windy. I do not like the wind at all. And so um, it also said that vetiver, it, it blends really well with balance or lavender or serenity, the other grounding, calming oils. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use these two together. So I got my fractionated coconut oil, which is right there. I got my fractionated coconut oil and I um, put that on in the palm of my hand. I wanted you to see Bear Bear because he's cuter than he is so cute. So I um, I put fractionated coconut oil in the palm of my hand and then I put a drop of vetiver and a drop of balance, which balance is my absolute favorite blend. And I put those on my stomach. And then I, you know, I just wiped the rest on my on my legs. I didn't really want to put it up by my head because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to keep smelling that. And and Bear liked it even, which was, I was really surprised. Um, anyway, so I felt immediately like there was a, like warming and I felt this, I did feel like a, ah, it's okay, almost like a hug around my stomach. It was a really cool experience and I can still smell it you know, when you use these oils, you get the aroma benefit as well, obviously, because you can smell them. And that affects, that's our strongest sense is our smell. So that's going whew, right to that limbic brain, that limbic part of our, our system in our brain. And it's sending like signals of calm and peace, and which is helpful for me when I'm not liking the wind. So anyway, um, that's pretty cool. So that's vetiver. And that is a, um, that's going to be now a new go-to oil for me. And, you know, I love that. I love discovering something new that I wouldn't normally use. So I'm loving this, sharing this with you too, as I, as I experiment with these new oils every day. Because I might just hit on something that would work for you also. <laughs> so we are just going to go, I'm going to get their breakfast ready and let them run outside and then I am going to go on um, get my facial and that's going to be amazing so I hope you're doing something today for yourself I hope you it couldn't be today but you know just maybe make that decision that you know I wish I had time for whatever and whatever that thing is you want time for then make the time this is our life it goes by quickly I can't believe I'm 64 years old. I can't believe that I have all the experiences that I have already in my life. And really, most of my life is now behind me. And so part of getting older is really cool because I think people, most people realize that, wow, if there's something I want to do, I better do it while I feel, still feel the, this bit of youth in me where I feel good and I can do what I want to do. And it's just a, um, it's a, it's kind of a cool thing, actually, because I look at life with a much greater appreciation than I did when I was younger. And so, you know, I, I just choose to be happy. It's a simple choice, really. And it's a good choice. It's a, there's so many things in our day that can bring us joy if we just look in their direction. So anyway, go about your day. I hope it's a great one. Leave comments if you want to of what, you know, I'd like to know what you're doing. I'd like to know what makes you happy. And, you know, even even this doing this for myself, I've been doing these facials now for like a little over two years. And it's amazing. But just this one thing that I do for myself helps to instill a sense of self-respect and self-love for me because I am feeling important enough that I can do this for myself. And that sends a really clear, wonderful message to my brain. So let's get our brains in on this and uh, be in control.
full and we'll eat some breakfast. Okay? All right. <laughs> Have a really good day. I really hope you do. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.